Definitely gonna need one of these to get through this one. Boogie2988. Someone who many once saw as a shining beacon of hope on YouTube in a concrete jungle of toxicity and drama and evil people. He had one of the most insane fall offs in YouTube history over the past few years, and I've been very intent on covering all of it. From lying about being swatted to recently running a crypto scam on his fans. I mean, this is just the tip of the iceberg on Boogie, right? There are multiple videos, two hour long, three hour long videos about this from me, from June the King, from other people who have covered him and the fact that he basically deserves everything that's come to him, okay? It's all his fault. But most people thought it couldn't get any worse, okay? Like I, even in my last video about him a few days ago, I was like, listen, Boogie sucks. It can't get worse than a crypto scam. Like, this is it. But now, many people are accusing Boogie of lying about his cancer diagnosis, and it has turned into a huge drama, and it looks like he probably lied. And I have to take a little bit of credit for myself for being the first domino in this series of events. So basically, the way that this went down is that I went on Destiny's stream the other day to get him to talk about the pump and dump that Boogie ran on his fans, the fatty token scam that he ran, right? And during that stream, Destiny said he would not be surprised if Boogie was actually faking his cancer diagnosis. He was very dubious of that diagnosis. After all, it makes him look a little bit more sympathetic if he was suffering from a disease that, you know, takes the lives of thousands or millions a year, however many it does, right? It gives him an excuse to not return the money he collected from the pump and dump. Because Boogie was like, I can't return the money, it's already been spent, it's spent on medical bills, and I'm fighting for my life over here. Well, Destiny found this a bit fishy, so he and the DGGers, the DGG community, decided to start looking through the archives to find every time Boogie has mentioned having cancer. I hope you get better, I hope I, I hope you uh, get better with your sickness, and um... Yeah, it's cancer, man. It, uh, you don't, people don't generally get better. Why would you say that if you had cancer? It's cancer, you don't get better from it. That's so absolutely not f***ing true. Depends on the type of cancer, depends on the condition of the patient, depends on the healthcare available to you, depends on, uh, well, now hold on, third one is stupid. Um, depends on the type of cancer, depends on the status of the patient, and it depends on how far the cancer's progressed. There's this old tweet where Boogie revealed his diagnosis from November of 2022, where he said, hey, so I debated not sharing this, but I got my official diagnosis today, so why not? I do, in fact, have a type of blood cancer called polycythemia vera. It's extremely slow moving, and many people live with it for decades. No big deal. I guess if you're going to get cancer, this is the one to get. It might lead to stroke or heart attack, but that's easily managed. It could eventually lead to leukemia, but we can stay on top of that and make sure it doesn't. So at the end of the day, I don't think you should be that worried. According to mayoclinic.org, polycythemia vera is a type of blood cancer. It causes your bone marrow to make too many blood cells, which thickens the blood, obviously, which slows its flow, which can cause blood clots and can eventually be life-threatening if it's untreated. But Boogie said he was treating it. He's going to be okay. It's not that bad. Simultaneously, he said the reason why he did this pump and dump was to pay off medical debt related to the issue. He mentions cancer twice in his CoffeeZilla interview, and it's definitely for sympathy. If I'm being genuine with you, and I do want to be genuine with you and the rest of the internet, I'm in pretty dire need of money. Uh, I have a lot of medical bills, and I'm fighting cancer, and I'd very much like not to, uh, not to, you know, go around with my health care too much, but... That's something I would genuinely have to consider. And I know that from watching your videos in the past, if I say maybe here, uh, a lot of people are going to take that as a no, and, and it might end up being a no. Uh, so I may as well give you a hard no here because uh, I, I very, very much need the money. I'm on, on $1,800 for the medications right now. Yeah, it's cancer, man. It, uh, you don't, it, people don't generally get better. Uh, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. But maybe we should be sympathetic to Boogie. I mean, if he has cancer, maybe we should feel bad for him. I mean, it's kind of weird that on one hand, he's saying that, you know, it's not that big of a deal. And then in this CoffeeZilla interview, he's like, it's a huge deal. I'm so scared, right? I'm fighting for my life. And Boogie's also a pathological liar. So it makes sense to question him a little bit. But without medical records, most people assumed you couldn't even really question whether or not Boogie had this rare disease. Because how much of a scumbag would you have to be to lie about having cancer? I mean, that's too far even for Boogie, right? <laughs> And on top of that, accusing anyone of lying about cancer, if they actually have it, makes you look insane and evil. Okay, so if he in indeed has this, he has like a form of cancer that takes decades to progress. So there's never any public viewing of like a symptom of cancer or chemotherapy. There's no treatment involved. So he never has to talk about a treatment or paying for it, I guess, right? Or he didn't mention anything. Um, oh, sorry. 
So I got off stream, but Destiny decided to further investigate Boogie's claims about his diagnoses on his stream. He pointed out the fact that Boogie never provided any real documentation proving that he had cancer at all, which is true. He's never provided any proof. Boogie basically just showed a Google result for polycythemia vera, which is what he claims to have. And this got Destiny thinking. Could Boogie be full of crap? Is it possible that the pathological liar also lied about this? But no way, no way. He wouldn't lie about something like this, right? It's just impossible. No way, chat, no way. Okay, chat, I know you're watching right now. There's no way. Hashtag not my boogie, okay? But he posed the idea that Boogie should probably be providing some proof of his diagnosis if he's going to do a pump and dump and use the money to pay for medical bills, right? If you're using any kind of money that's directly raised by your fans, whether you're selling a product or whatever, and you're saying you're gonna pay for this specific thing, and it's especially something serious like cancer, which can be life-threatening, then you should probably provide some kind of receipt for it, right? That makes perfect sense. You kind of owe it, maybe not to me, some random that watches this video, but at least to your fan base, you probably owe it to them that, you legitimately have whatever medical conditions you're claiming are costing all this money to treat. And from here, a few questions are swirling around in my mind. First of all, if this is not a life-threatening form of cancer and it's easily treatable, why even make a public statement? Like, why does it need to be shared with the audience? Like, Boogie, in in the video that he made initially, was like, I feel like I owe you guys an explanation, but do you? Do you owe the audience an explanation? Do they, do they really need anything? Like, really? And secondly, if it's not that serious, if this cancer is not that serious, why would you make it that big of a deal during the pump and dump? He said he was fighting for his life in the CoffeeZilla interview. I'm fighting for my life! But then when he got diagnosed, it wasn't that big of a deal. But maybe it was like progressing super fast. The diagnosis was initially incorrect. Maybe they caught it really late and he'd had it for like 10 years and didn't even know. I mean, who knows, guys? I mean, Boogie would never lie about something like this, right? Like, it's, it's Boogie. Come on. Like, I mean, he may lie about this. He may lie about that. He may lie about everything. But lying about cancer is like a step too far even for him. Right? But... Uh, I hope it gives you an idea of why I've been so worried about my money, why I've been so worried about my career, why I've been so worried about my future, why I've done some of the things I've done and said some of the things I've said. Maybe I should have led with this before I asked people to watch my videos or become channel members or whatever. I don't know. This felt very private at the time. But it doesn't feel private anymore, so I'm sharing it. Well, even when Boogie had initially announced that he had cancer, there were a lot of people calling BS on it for a variety of reasons. I mean, the comment section is a total war zone on that video. Like, imagine imagine being so hated that when you announce you have cancer, everybody's like, you still suck. Like, <laughs> that is that is a crazy position to be in. But even at that, no one had any reason to believe that he outright lied about having this diagnosis. I mean, he is really fat, like he's really unhealthy. It's feasible he could have some kind of rare blood disease, right? But what's even stranger is that during the crypto drama, when Penguin Zero suggests so that Boogie should start a fundraiser for money he claims he desperately needs. Instead of just accepting that proposition and being like, I'll do it, and then like he could easily raise money for that from at least some people, right? He could get like a couple hundred dollars. That's better than nothing. Instead of just doing that, he asked his audience if he should open a fundraiser. Like, why would this even be a question in his mind if in his words, he's fighting for his life? Doesn't he need this money desperately? Shouldn't he be doing everything he can? Shouldn't he be selling his possessions, like all of his toys and crap in his house to pay for this? I don't have places to go. I don't have money to spend i'm literally just fighting for my life over here and a lot of that involves staying home spending my money where it needs to be spent and trying to just not stress myself out to make my polycythemia vera any worse and even this clip is contradictory as i said because previously he said it wasn't that big of a deal well destiny did some reading into the literature and basically came to the conclusion that boogie did not have cancer at all so it sounds like he's getting a sleep study to see if he's having a lot of sleep apnea which is causing a reduction of oxygen in the blood, which is leading to the increased production of red blood cells, not a cancer that's causing the increase of red blood cells. Does that make sense? So it's not a cancer that he has. It's just the fact that I'm gonna super guess here. I don't know this, but I'm probably right. My guess is going to be that when your body is not detecting enough oxygen in the blood or something, it, it's producing more red blood cells because maybe maybe that's a way that you would fight this. Maybe it thinks that you're not being oxygenated for some reason. So if it makes more red blood cells or something, it's like a way to combat that because maybe that's like a thing that happens. That's like a guess, I guess. But your body, my guess is something in your body has a, a, a signal that when the oxygen level in your blood is dropping, it produces more red blood cells. And sleep apnea is something that um, it is inhibiting your oxygenation of your blood, um, not your tissue, but your blood at night. Because I think tissue um, is hypoxia. 
and blood is hypoxemia, I think is what it said in one of these, I forget. And people even found old videos and sent them to Destiny where Boogie's trying to like shut down the rumor mill and the idea that he's faking his cancer because that's disgusting and you're insane if you think that, you're a crazy person, if you even imply that, you are a horrible human being and you can never be respected again online. You are toast, it's over for you. I wanted to say thank you to the people that have reached out in the last 24 hours, content creators, YouTubers, fans, friends, even people that don't even like me have had nice things to say, and I'm really grateful. Thank you. I have a favor to ask of those people, though, and I'm sorry to have to ask anything. But uh, I see the rumor mills creeping back up again. The same rumor mill that's accused me of God knows what else. And this time they've decided that I am faking my cancer diagnosis. And whereas I know that those people know better, I know that nobody's that fucking stupid. It's still going to spread like wildfire. So number one, if you're that kind of person, fucking stop. I get it's fun to LARP about me. I get it's fun to pretend that I'm a piece of shit. And I get that I made my mistakes in the past. But cancer's not something to pretend about. Cancer's not something to joke about. Cancer's not something pretending that I'm lying about cancer for clout and views. Is he is absolutely lying. What a piece of shit. Unless he posts something in here to prove it wrong. The fucked up thing to do. Get help. Um. Secondly... If you see a YouTuber saying that I'm faking this shit, link it to me. He is faking I, I it. I normally free speak faking advocacy it. the whole faking nine yards, but... Yep, sue me. Uh, sue me. It's time I finally foot, put my sue me. foot down if I have to. Hold on. So I will here. Okay? And thirdly, if you see this shit in comment sections, if you see videos about it, shout these motherfuckers down. Let them know. Let them know reality. I get that it's fun to pretend. I get that it's fun... To don't call me and try to ruin my life. I get it. But fuck you if you're doing that. Live here right now. I don't want to let you this time. I've let you every other time. I didn't give a fuck what you had to say. But cancer's not a thing that we're going to joke about, okay? Cancer's not a thing that we're going to pretend I'm lying about. That's not a thing we're gonna do. The way that Boogie talks in these clips is extremely manipulative and he comes across like he has something to hide. I mean, I get he's fat, but like, why is he out of breath? I mean, that's another question I have. I mean, just kind of unrelated, but like, why? Side note, why does every YouTuber do this kind of video on Twitter? Like Keemstar does Twitter videos walking around his house. Nick Merckx, whenever something serious happens, is in his backyard for some reason with a shirt off, showing off his big beard. Like, just type out a tweet. You can just say what you need to say in a tweet. You don't need to like, Take your phone and be like, hey guys, it's me walking around my house on my busy day. Hey guys, uh, I know something really serious is going on right now. I just want to say that the flibble flobble allegations are not true at all, you know. See, like, you know, Mega Poop TV obviously had his reasons for thinking that, but honestly, like, I didn't even think it was possible that, you know, someone could diaper max that hard. Also, like, I'm gay, so just think about that. Also, my diaper's really full right now. I haven't had it in three weeks, but, you know, you guys have been really supportive of me throughout all that. And, you know, honestly, ever since it came out about Nicholas Diorio that he was actually anorexic and not fat at all. That was really crazy, but, you know, I'm just saying, like, um, I have sex with guys, so thank you guys for watching. Like, why do you need to film a video like that? There's no reason to do that. Stop. You're in your own home. Where are you going? The first time Boogie stands in the last decade is literally to film a Twitter video. Well, anyway, this accusation that Destiny makes starts blowing up. People already hate Boogie, obviously, and I think for, for some very valid reasons, especially as of late. He just had what is probably his biggest controversy yet from, like, a numbers perspective in terms of people hating him like at one time right the boogie hate is peaking right now it's going to the moon the stock's going to the moon and now he's being accused of lying about his cancer diagnosis i mean this is groundbreaking no fat pun intended so in the middle of the lolcal live podcast starring boogie wings of redemption tommy c and keemstar destiny calls in with dan and xqc to talk about this and he accuses boogie of lying about his diagnosis he demands that boogie provide proof for this diagnosis and what happened next was one of the best live streams I have ever seen in my life. Boogie, 2488, you are being confronted tonight. I am 99% sure that you are you are faking. No, don't move all. You are faking your cancer diagnosis, Boogie. Okay, let's hear that. Let's hear that. Did the doctor ever tell you or did he ever say the word cancer? He said polycythemia vera, which is a form of cancer, as he explained it to me. And no, it is not secondary polycythemia, which is Nicholas DiOrio's explanation for this bullshit. So I think it is secondary polycythemia. Um, can you explain? Well, why would he call it? Why would he call it polycythemia vera? Why would he tell me that I have hormone mark markers in my blood that tells me I have polycythemia vera? Why does he order a bone uh, marrow uh, biopsy to confirm it? 
Uh, well, if he ordered a bone marrow, b bone marrow biopsy to he confirm misspoke. it, it would be weird that you told us that you already had a diagnosis and a confirmation. If it because has the been markers good. are in my blood, the hormone markers are in my blood. Correct. Destiny. But you said that you'd received the diagnosis, but now you just told me that you got a, a bone marrow biopsy to it's confirm. It's a diagnosis, and now we're confirming. Sure. It's called a confirmation. <clears throat> At, the, so, the hormone markers are already in my blood. Yep. So I think what and happened is, Boogie, based on everything... Biopsy yeah. Because I'm wanting to do that, because I'm praying to God I don't fucking have cancer. He doesn't I'm care. I'm praying here. to God I'm taking the one in a million fucking chance that they're fucking wrong. And that there's another reason <laughs> that I have the hormone, uh, the hormone fucking uh, 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 imbalances in my blood. Uh, Shut your bitch ass up! So already Boogie here is admitting that he didn't really know if he had cancer. <laughs> and he's still waiting for confirmation somehow. Keep in mind, a year and a half ago, he was saying... I definitely have cancer. He literally made a YouTube video that says, I have cancer, everyone. Look at me. I have cancer. And now he's saying, well, I'm waiting for more confirmation on the small chance I don't have it. I mean, I could not have it. I've got a little bit of hope left, shred of hope type thing. The doctor said that I have it through polycythemia vera, but I'm still not sure. So I got to make sure. And you can see how flustered Boogie gets when people are questioning him. You can see how nervous he gets about this when really, if he's so right, he should be indignant about the truth. He shouldn't be almost nervous and like accepting like well this is the narrative they're gonna go with yeah why are you praying to god two years after you said that you have cancer that you don't have cancer because two <laughs> years ago because two years ago they told me i have polycythemia vera based on the fact that i had increased uh red blood cell counts increased hemoglobin and the hormone markers in my blood and it all spelled pretty definitively that I have this. And so he wanted to get a bone marrow biopsy, but it is intrusive and expensive, so they decided to forego it. I would like to still get it done because I am hopeful, I am praying that there, there's a merciful God of the world that would be willing to let this be wrong, even though it most certainly is not. So why are you talking about expensive cancer treatments if they don't even know if you have cancer? That nothing has been confirmed because yet. They're it's been treating two years. It, dip sh they're not, how they've are they been treating it for two fucking years. How are they treating it, Boogie? blood test, blood thinners, bloodletting, medications, blood they're trying to get my weight Correct. down. Yes. I'm seeing the doctor every three fucking months. I'm doing blood tests mm -hmm. every fucking month. We're, we're doing every, we're... Uh, yep. So they don't so know if you have cancer know. or not. So like, can I hold my fucking hand? Well, sure. So, I mean, I can explain, so I can explain, so I can explain, so I can explain everything, right? So right. Boogie has a condition right. called polycythemia, which uh, means there's an elevation in his... Polycythemia vera. No. Polycythemia vera. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I want to hear the guy who actually knows polycythemia something. Polycythemia vera. Jesse, he knows more about my fucking medical yes. diagnosis than I do. Yes, yes, I hear it. Well, he's... ahead. I was in the fucking room. My girlfriend was in the fucking room. <laughs> right you right are the feeling ahead, Destiny. Go right the fucking ahead. Be nice. Be nice, okay, Boogie. Yeah, I will go ahead. Okay, so I think that Boogie was told that he has polycythemia, which means he has an elevation of his red blood cells. Now, there is a cancer known as polycythemia vera, which is caused by a mutation in some part of your body that causes an elevation of three different levels of things you'll find. One of those is uh, the red blood cell count. Um, however, when Boogie was talking about the polycythemia, he mentioned a couple things that I thought were interesting. The first was that taking an exogenous, uh, an exogenous hormone, TRT, testosterone, that that caused a increase in him developing this condition. So taking, uh, taking testosterone will not cause you to develop a cancer. That doesn't, that, for, not for this particular cancer, it won't. It will cause you to develop secondary polycythemia. And the second thing that he mentioned was that his doctor ordered a sleep study. That's because one of the things that can cause your body to produce more red blood cells is if you have hypoxemia, which is an, a lower count of, or a low amount of oxygen in your blood for an extended period of time. And the reason why he ordered mm -hmm. that sleep study is probably because Boogie either has uh, either uh, pulmonary obstructive uh, something, or he has, as he mentioned, sleep apnea. And sleep apnea, which is a decrease in oxygen overnight, can lead to a decrease in oxygen in your blood which can lead to an increase in the production of red blood cells. All of the things that Boogie described, both the things that cause this and the treatments for it, are consistent with secondary polycythemia. Um, none of these yeah. are consistent with cancer. And the fact that he's saying that he's they've now ordered a biopsy Correct. two years Correct. after. He, oh, wait, two years after. Wait, let me just finish real quick. Wait, 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 let me just finish real quick. Wait, real quick. Okay. Yeah. Two years ago, you said that you had a cancer diagnosis, but now you've just said now they're doing a biopsy to check for cancer. Confirmation. 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 Is this house MD? Are we treating? Are we treating a blood cancer without actually show. confirming it yet? For two years, you've been being, you've been having a cancer treatment without confirming there's actually cancer there. Bruh. Because it was in my blood markers, and that's pretty goddamn definitive. You can Stop. Google that, Destiny. When you, when <laughs> you, know. you have the hormones, when you have the hormone in the blood that is produced by this cancer, it's pretty goddamn definitive. It doesn't show up for just the sakes of it. Can I can I can I say something real quick? Yes. Look, you have all you have you have all, you, you won't keep saying you're the patient you know what you have your body has yes but. so they go back and forth like this for a bit it's a pretty heated conversation boogie's very flustered and it all comes down to one simple fact 
Boogie can easily, easily prove that he has cancer if he shows his medical documents. And that's all it's gonna take, really. It's so easy. He can show his little medical app that says, you have cancer. Boogie, Stephen, Jason, Williams, Boogie1488, you have this disease, okay? He can easily show that. And for some reason, in this entire stream, he is completely unwilling. Destiny even offers him $5,000 if he proves his diagnosis and he refuses out of some sense of principle, he claims. He's like, it's disgusting to even imply that. Why would I even give that to you? That's insane. You're being uh, heinous right now. When I go to the doctor, they give me shit like this, yep. which is like papers. Because I was going to say, Boogie can end this whole thing. Exactly Show me a single diagnosis. document with polycythemia vera on it. You don't have one. I don't think the doctor ever diagnosed you with it. So where, why, explain to me, Destiny, why there are markers, hormone markers in my blood that have tested positively for poly polycythemia vera. If there was, shit. then he wouldn't Just have- Just look at one of your medical papers, dude. Yeah, he's I'm never the showing any of these motherfuckers my medical papers. <laughs> Don't f yourself. I said that two years ago, and I'm staying by it now. Destiny, Jackson, Clark, Keemstar, you can see it when I fucking die. It's my fucking it's goddamn right medical there. record. It's, I've like given you, you every goddamn phone call. call. Like, I've given you every fucking text. I've given you... It's never made a single goddamn thing better. I'm not gonna fucking do it. So Destiny leaves the stream, but that is not the end of all things, okay? In fact, it's just getting started. I was watching all of this happen live, and I was literally losing my mind watching Boogie do mental gymnastics to explain away why he won't show his medical documents. Firstly, he says it's possible that his doctor lied to him for clout. I, I, I don't even, his doctor doesn't have a YouTube channel. We don't know who his doctor is. So that doesn't even make sense. What clout does he have to gain from this? Is his doctor posting on Kiwi Farms or something? Like, is there something I'm missing here? Somehow the doctor in his mind could have possibly told Boogie that he had cancer, but he was lying for internet clout or something. I. I don't even know. Is it possible that next time you see your doctor, you just come out and say, do I have cancer? And he says, well, no, it could turn into cancer. Is that possible? I, I guess that's possible. So I would have a really strong case for malpractice, but I guess that's possible. You're saying you're saying that's possible. A person that knows they have cancer would be like, no, no, that is not possible at all. I have cancer. I do have cancer and know it is very unlikely, but I guess it's possible my doctor could be a fucking quack. I guess it's possible he's been lying to me for clout. What the hell are you talking about? Mudahar calls in and he asks Boogie to show his patient portal. Boogie says he cannot find it. He has no idea where this part in the app is. On the app he uses to track his medical state, to track his diagnosis, he can't find where it says you have cancer boogie like for some magical reason he cannot find this it is completely absurd well i mean oh. the good news is now i'm being accused of of lying about cancer so i i feel like and it's being, such you know, an easy out for you such an yeah. easy out but you won't take it i don't understand the one time you, you say that you are 100 percent true and honest you won't I'm take that out to, i'm still trying to find it in my portal right now i'm a little dissociative so it's a little difficult but um, I will have I mean, it you can in... take all your time. Wait, sure. wait, yeah, wait, so. wait, wait, time out, time out. Let me understand this. All right. Yeah. You have cancer and you're in your portal and you can't find that. Yeah, I'm seems, trying to find seems... the diagnosis page. So then Mr. Mediker calls in. For the unaware, Jim Mediker is a YouTuber. He has a very legendary reputation among the YouTube community and a very diehard fan base. And what makes him unique to speak about this situation is that he actually has cancer 1000% verified by true American patriots. Back in the day, a lot of people accused Jim Mediker of faking his cancer diagnosis. And he decided instead of letting anyone speculate, he would just prove it by showing his own medical documents. Obviously he censored some sensitive information like the name of the doctor or the hospital or stuff like that. But it's clear from these documents that he does actually have the diseases, the ailments, the cancer that he claims to have, which puts him in a very unique position to call Boogie out on this and be like, hey, just provide proof. So he hops on the stream and he says, hey, Boogie, just show us the documents, man. He says it very candidly. He says it very nicely. He doesn't frame it in like an aggressive tone. He's like, hey, man, this is how you can show it. Why don't you just show it to the audience? It's very easy. Here's the thing, because I, I did a stream, you know, because I had people saying, oh, you're faking cancer, Jim. So I showed my diagnosis and stuff like that. I'm going to guess he's working on a system similar to Epic, which most medical people do. Mm -hmm. um, you should be able to go right into diagnoses, and it's going to list everything that a doctor has ever said you had. Yep, I just read it to him. Okay, and so it lists the cancer there? Yes. Okay, so you could screen cap that and just show it. I mean, that's what I did, and then that would be the end of it. Absolutely. And I made the decision two years ago that I would not do that. And I would rather leave the internet than to give the last shred of fucking privacy I have left. Well, no, I, and he, here's the thing. I, I understand the privacy argument. 
mm-hmm. um, you know, I should have never went public with it. No, but, no, 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 no. Let know. me finish. I mean, you, you can redact information. There's no, there's no issue with that, but just show, I mean, it literally is just a page that says patient diagnosis is, Yep. And then it lists what you have. There's, it doesn't yep. tell you who the doctor is. It doesn't tell you what hospital you go to. It, it literally just says the disease name. So this would be so easy to prove. I mean, Boogie was trying to figure out how to do it earlier. Why wouldn't he just show it right now, right? What reason is there to not show it? Jim is walking him through where he can find the diagnosis in this app, which is apparently the same system that Boogie uses. And Boogie says he won't do it because of privacy. And I won't be doing that. But I don't understand why not. Um, Cause he does have I, I got cancer. A, I got about, I got about, <laughs> he does have cancer. Yeah, that's gonna be the narrative they'll go with. So that's what well. I'm no, doing. I mean, I, I'm I'm legit trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. When I shit on you for the crypto thing, man, I I said I take your word yeah. that you had cancer. I take your word that you know the medical shit's expensive. Yep. Um. So I mean, I, I this seems like the I've been I thing spent two do. years treating a disease that doesn't exist. These people used to be my friends, and I genuinely would have never believed that it would even come to this yeah he won't do it because of privacy the guy who pimps out his own 20 year old girlfriend in her underwear to run a crypto scam the guy who filmed him and her naked in a bathtub for a documentary the guy whose address is on the internet already the guy who spends all day talking about his personal problems okay this is the last bastion of privacy he already said he has cancer why not just prove it it would shut everyone up medicare and keemstar and everyone would be eating crow that have egg on their face i would look definitely dumb because i was like you know boogie it's very possible you're lying right now why don't you just show it just show it and he he wouldn't show it for some reason he refused everyone would have to bow to the great boogie 2988 the one honest youtuber in the entire ecosystem apparently okay and he refused to do it for some uh, some reason that only god knows and he keeps saying that'll be the narrative they're gonna go with they're gonna go with that narrative like he's, he's framing it like he's constantly lied about like dude Undoubtedly, some portion of the internet lies about you, like people lie about everyone, but generally speaking, the criticism against you is very warranted. So to play the victim in a situation like this is absolutely insane. There's no coming back once you guys decided to LARP. No, 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 no. About once, no, once there was no you coming decided, back earlier once tonight. You decided, there was no coming back share. earlier tonight. There was once no you decided earlier. you don't want to share, once, that's when once, no once these motherfuckers went with the narrative that I'm lying about cancer, there was no coming back. I, I got a DM from Keemstar telling me to check out a clip from Destiny, and then I watched the Destiny clip. And it's saying that uh, that Boogie's faking his cancer. Yep, that seems to be the narrative. So the explanation that most people went to, which I think is a fair conclusion to draw, is that Boogie probably faked having cancer. Keemstar believes this because Boogie thought he had cancer, realized that he actually didn't at some point in the past, and then he didn't want to come out with it because he knew it would look bad for him. Mudahar believes that he outright lied from the beginning for sympathy, it honestly could be either. But the bottom line is that his explanations for not wanting to prove that he has it make literally no sense. And frankly, at this point, I think he has a responsibility to reveal it considering the fact that he got a $10,000 payment from a pump and dump for medical bills he claimed are being used to fight for his life, which is like the only small saving grace he has in that situation at all. I mean, he says that's why he can't pay people back, right? He had to pay for his cancer treatments. So why is he not showing that he's paying for his cancer treatments with the money that he apparently can't pay back investors with? And after saying that on the same stream, he's now back to like downplaying the cancer on the same, like, I, I, I don't even know. I don't know. Did, very different starter, did you say starter kit? Like you haven't started having cancer? No, it's like the, it's the begin. It's like the tutorial version of cancer. What, what he's Does saying that make is, sense? The it's the easy he, one. If you're going to get one, this is the one you, you want to get. Li- you can live forever on this thing. It, it rarely kills people. Before it's it's not the it. dark souls of cancer. That's no, right. Yeah, so yeah, this yeah, would it's, be... the, the, it's the animal crossing of cancer. You have the dark souls of cancer. Yeah. I, I, I'm not even close. I mean, he just said his life was in danger during the CoffeeZilla interview. Dealing with this guy's manipulation is so frustrating. I mean, it, it gives me an actual headache at times. I can't deal with any more Boogie, okay? I think I've had a lifetime of suffering from watching Boogie content. I've truly had enough. I'm going to end up in Arkham Asylum soon. You know, it's going to be it's going to be dark days. I'm going to be there. At least, you know, maybe Poison Ivy will give me head because she knows Who's a freaky ass? I'm a quirked up white boy with serious swag, but apart from that, there's not a lot of benefits to watching Boogie content to be honest with you, okay? That's a small benefit. I would be able to get a very small benefit from that. Now, this whole stream uh <laughs> is an absolute mess as I said before. At some point boogie ends up like randomly claiming that he like 
pinned down his ex-girlfriend because she was hitting him or something? <laughs> I mean, how this is related to anything going on, I do not know, so don't even try to ask me because I cannot explain it to you. And by the time Boogie was about to get off stream, he had been offered a grand total of $75,000 to prove he had cancer. I personally bumped that up to 80 with another five grand offer uh, if he just would reveal his medical documents and he refused to do it. Keep in mind, I would have followed through if he did but he refused to for no good reason. None of his explanations make literally any sense at all. And why is he refusing? In my opinion, it's probably because he lied, uh, whether knowingly or unknowingly, uh, I, I think he's full of sh He also like deleted his Twitter account on stream for some reason, maybe to hide his track record of talking about the diagnosis. Not that that would work anyway, because people archive everything he does and they're gonna find it. Like, come on, come on, Steven. It's hard to say why he did this. Maybe it was for sympathy, so it would look like he's a victim or something. Poor Boogie, I feel so bad for you for making your life sh I feel bad for you, okay? Like, it's my fault. It's not your fault. It's my fault. It's June the King's fault. It's Moist Critical's fault that your life sucks. It's no one else's, okay? Obviously. At the end of the day, there is like a 1% possibility that Steven Jason Williams Boogie 2988 does actually have some form of cancer. I mean, just look at him. He probably should have it, but his refusal to prove it when it should be so easy to do so makes me think that he probably lied. And if he didn't, he does the worst impression of an innocent person that I have ever seen in my entire life. And it's it's hard to blame literally anyone for thinking that he did lie. So yeah, uh, Boogie is still a fat liar, I guess is the main conclusion here. Uh, <laughs> What, what, what else has changed? I think it, this is just on another level, and obviously people are going to be outraged because of the subject material, and they should be. If you like this video, be sure to check out the three-hour stream highlight on the Tom Dark Live channel, where I watched over all of this stuff and reacted in real time. Uh, I will see you all tomorrow, where I fake my own HIV diagnosis. Just kidding, that one was real, 1,000% verified by true American patriots. Pa patriots. Bye.